Hey guys, welcome to day 14 of Project Stunties. So you can see I didn't get too much more done on these guys. I put six base coats on of the primary colors, so the red sleeves and the green trim and the beards and the hair and the pouches and belts on these guys. And I'm trying to go for a more, because I'm going for a more unified, cohesive theme for this unit, I'm trying to limit the number of, of, of different beard colors and variations on beard colors. But I might change my mind later depending on, you know, how uniform these guys all look once they have all of their base colors down. Just to make them stand out from each other, I might give them different colored beards. Um, yeah, but, but, so I, I only got six done, but I also did all of the hands for everybody else. So what I'm thinking of doing is getting um, one thing done all across the unit, like for this one it was the hands today and then I was going on with the base colors for, for individual units, but I've only got seven left, so maybe tomorrow I'll do all green trim for everybody and then I'll continue building up base coats. Uh, looks like there's going to be three or four parts to this video series if I'm only allowed to work for, you know, the amount of time that I had today, which was, I'd say, half the amount of time I usually work, so an hour and a half, two hours. Didn't really get that much done because I was also working on the bases. Um, and just trying to clean up and tidy up the mistakes that I made with the metallics for for yesterday. So tomorrow the plan is to finish base coating these guys. If I don't finish then at least get the, the green trim onto everybody. Um, but once the base coats are done it's really just a matter of shading and highlighting which doesn't take nearly as much time and it's really the, the easy downhill part of, of painting and then I can get to work on the banner. So. Thanks for watching. Please uh, keep motivated for your own painting projects. Don't let it slip by the wayside. Just devote, you know, the hour and a half, the two hours that you usually spend playing Skyrim or watching Family Guy. And uh, yeah, sit down with your models and, and have a go. And once you see your product coming together, it really is inspiring. It's, it, you know, it, it keeps me motivated and just just knowing that I, I have to put up a video every day where at least something gets done is a real big motivation. So, so, so log, log your progress and make videos, put, post up video responses to my, to my challenge and, and we'll uh, keep each other motivated to at least get something done. Even if it's, you know, just I painted this one bit on this one model. It's something and you've got the video online to show everybody. So, hey, thanks for watching guys and We'll see you tomorrow where hopefully we'll get more done with this unit and...